All right, well, first of all, all we have a good football team and a good coach, and they played hard. They played hard. We just made a few more plays than they did at the end. You know, you got to give a play. It was tooth and nails, uh, down to the end, winning the overtime. You know, if you're a fan, it's a great football game, you know, and, uh, you know, it's unfortunate someone had to lose and we came out on top. We just made a few more plays than they did. That's all. Okay. It, it, it seemed like, in, for the most of the game, guys were coming in. Right. In the fourth quarter, at King Giannis, you were down 31-17. Yeah. Exactly. So it looked like it was a very big uphill battle. And what did you say to your team and what adjustments did you make in the fourth quarter? You know, I said trust the process. You know, we got faith. We believe in ourselves. And I said, you know, guys, you know, you got to have faith. You know, faith of a mustard seed, and that's the biggest thing. I, mean, I told you guys, honestly, you know, I give God all the praise. I'm a man of faith. I think if you trust and you believe and you maintain your faith, I think the thing happened, and that's what I thought the players did today. They trusted the process of working hard during the summer, staying together and not dividing themselves as a team. And they came out and they stuck together. And, uh, that's what they did. And fortunately for us, we came out victorious. So, so much of what came in and, right. and, and changed his game. And, yeah. And for, I think he surprised maybe he's on the closing side, not on your side. Right. But you know, you just talk about his play today. Well, I, I thought both quarterbacks did well. You know, Sophie kept us in there in the beginning, and then you know, Malcolm came in and gave us the punch we needed. Mm -hmm. It just, just goes to show, man, when you got two good quarterbacks and we got another one, you know, uh, this day, man. So, you know, all three of those guys are capable of leading us, and we just got to continue to get better. You know, I got told those guys, next man up, we don't, we play the best guy, we go with the hot hand, and Michael had the hot hand. And fortunately, us, man, we came out on top, so it was great to see, you know, Michael and Sophie, you know, come in there and lead us. You know, Sophie the first half, and Michael second. Now, when you, your record overall is 4 2. Right. Um, um, the team you in the beginning was familiar. It was you know you, you defeated. Um, and you had a two game losing streak right. coming into this conference. How big is this? How big is this for your team? You're watching the game. You came into order and defeated all the team that was hungry for it. Right. I think the biggest thing here is that we don't finish last. Right. You know who will pick the finish last in the conference? Right. You know, and every media poll, every. You know, we were a 10-point underdog today as far as the Lions go. So, you know, for our guys to come out here and compete and, and knowing now we're not going to finish last in this conference. You know, that says a lot for our players. And, you know, all the credit goes to the coaches and the players, man. They did a great job. And that's what they've been doing all season. But, hey, this thing just started now. I mean, we're right. we, we in here now. I mean, Hampton ain't going nowhere. Hey, you know, we in here too now. <laughs> I got a question, Coach. Yes, so when the season started, I got a chance to watch you guys play Howard. Right. Um, this game had a similar feel where you guys were coming from the back, right. coming from behind, going into the fourth quarter. Right. What did you tell your team to stay calm going into the fourth quarter and not panic because you were down, down a bunch of points? You know, it's not so much of what I told them. It's what they, it's what they believe in. These guys believe in themselves. They're resilient. You know, they, they know because the type of practice that we have, you know, you, you're being pushed to a level where you have to bring out some extra. So these guys know that. Listen, you know, the biggest thing here is, is just that Hampton is, is that we got good players, but most of all, we got good people on this team. And that with that combination there, I mean, you, you can win anyway. You're at HBCU school. Right. Sometimes HBCU schools get looked over due to facilities, due to media, a lot of things. You're coming into the CAA conference. What do you got to say for the people that are looking over past the HBCU schools? Hey, listen, I love the HBCU. I'm a product of the HBCU. And I'll always be HBCU. But, we, but what we're going to do at Hampton is we're going to control what we can. And what, what we can't control is ourselves. And that's the most important part. Hey, I'm HBC. I'm tapping on my chest.